What's up, it's Griv. I'm just testing this battery. I'm also doing the temperature testing. <clears throat> I bought a new thermocouple for the <coughs> temperature meter. I've also got this down here, which is a temperature module that's powered from the mains. It's got a beeper on it, it's got two probes, so I can do some <coughs> proper intense temperature measurement. This is a test of the Samsung 20S, it's just in a different wrapper. Down here, oh, my box is full, two sacks. Over here in the sea of batteries, these are the Samsung 20S A grades that I've got. I think the other one's been tested before, but we'll just use that as a reference. And um, I don't know why I just didn't use one of these actually, but yeah, it's a Samsung 20S. Like, we could do ter internal resistance testing after. I'm just watching the temperature and just trying to get the best temperature device that's not really expensive. If I hold that down, you'll see the clock disappear. That means it won't go off. See, it's got a nice power line in green and a nice voltage line in red. And the current at the top in orange is just constant 20 amps. I'll configure the settings at the end to make that from 440 to 420. <clears throat> Operating temperature we want to see about under 75 Celsius and around 100 degrees is when it's at its maximum sometimes if it's like 103 degrees or something I'll let it carry on if it's nearly finished but if it, it jumps straight up really quickly to 75 when it's about halfway done and then it gets to 100 before it's like a fourth of the way done I might abort the test that's why this new module here has an alarm that I've attached to it it's also got some fans you can add as well it's quite a cool little module actually. I've got another little one coming. Just finished. Temperature is 54.2. So I'll put that <coughs> down here. I'll just put 54. Which is great operating temperature. So let's look at the results. As you see, we've got a great voltage line here going all the way down. And we got, it finished at 2.4499 volts. So 4.5 basically. 2,098 milliamp hours, which is great. On the data sheet it says it should be at 30 amps, a minimum of 2,000.